Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star 4! Today, well, we gotta get back to Zima with that Ouch line. And in order to do that, I want to go to the item shop here to get a telepipe that'll just take us right there. It's like the Zoom spell in the Dragon Quest games. You can use it, and it teleports you to any town that you've already been to. Oh, and I also want to sell some of those excess items that I've been picking up. Oh yeah, that reminds me. The wood cane up there, someone was telling me. H.C. Bailey, the wood cane actually restores a fixed amount of HP per use. Uh, 32. So, it's not dependent on your mental stat as I thought before. So, but I'd still use the wood cane, or I'd still use the same macros as before, simply because... Han has nothing better to do if there's no elemental weakness to exploit, so you might as well have him use it anyway. And you wouldn't want him to use it at the start of a battle before the enemies actually hit us. But anyway, okay, we got the telepipe here, so let's go back to Zima. Why they let us teleport to Mulcom, I don't know. There's nothing there, but... Well, anyway. So, what are we going to do? We're just going to... Use it on every person in the village, one by one. Yay! Happy music! Or victory music. You didn't depetrify his hair, though. Oh, really? Well, at least you're safe and sound now. Shouldn't everyone know that? Well, I guess if you were petrified, I don't know, maybe you had your back to, to Zio then. Well, sounds like a plan. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, yeah, I suppose that would be a good idea. I don't think we have to do that. Oh. Well, I suppose. So, now are we going to get paid for helping out the Academy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Could you, like, not stack all these picture boxes on top of each other like that? It's getting kind of hard to keep up with everything. Oh, we... Oh, right, right. I thought we already headed back or something. Yeah, what do we do now? Job's done. Well, goodbye! You're slowpoke anyway. Yeah, his agility stat is pretty terrible. Well, he can deal decent damage. And he's got, well, good damage. And he's got instant death, too. Except we haven't gotten paid. Well, okay, let's head on back there, then. Unfortunately, we can't just teleport back there. Uh, what's going on? Oh! Oh! Another one of those guys! Shouldn't you have a question mark there? Maybe he's speaking rhetorically. No, we're gonna run back to the academy and come back later while this guy's murdering the townspeople. For boss time! And my understanding is that this fight is identical to the way it was the first time, except, well, we're a lot stronger. But the stats and everything, yeah, that's all the same as before. So, yeah, we might as well go with a what spell there. We should be able to take him out pretty easily. And eh, didn't get that paralysis, so. Okay, well now I'm gonna have to have Alice attack to keep up with all those enemies that this guy is spawning there. Okay, let's keep on going then. Alright, that's more like it. Okay, one more round ought to do. Let's see, I don't need that. Well, let's see if I don't need Earth, but let's put our new cross cut. 
uh, skill to use there. I'm not even gonna bother with any buffs. Yeah, you, you don't even need them here. Pretty easy. It's kind of dead. Ah. Yeah, let's go check it out. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, yeah, that's right. He could probably be hurt. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Sorry, no wedding for you, Han. But anyway, now that all the villages are free, well, let's take a look around the village. Oh, yeah. Nuts. Oh, well, okay. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess we can't get back there. For some reason, yeah, like I said, you can't teleport to Ido. Wait, what did you say? Oh, you're welcome! Hey, how's it going? Ah, well, maybe you shouldn't poke around in there, then. Ha ah. ha. Oh, really? Oh, well, maybe we should check it out. If we have time, right now we can't. What's that? I don't know. They just called it the Birth Valley or something. Oh. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably not important. What about your husband? Oh. Well, yeah, that would be a problem. Maybe you should give him a telepipe next time. Oh. Yeah, it looks pretty big to me from when we were there in the intro. Well, maybe you can, you'll get the chance. There are some shops that are open now, and I would like to buy some new equipment. Fortunately, having the money from Han gives me just enough money to get everything I want. Oh, okay, never mind then. Yep, you're all gonna die. Okay, but anyway, yeah, let's start getting some new stuff here. Okay, let's see. For weapons, we got a new axe for Grizz there, so that'll be a little bit of an upgrade for him. I like the happy music in the shops. Okay, so let's see. We want a graphite suit for Han there. And I would like to upgrade his shields with graphite shields. Hmm. I don't have quite enough for them yet. Maybe once I sell stuff, I'll have the money for that. But, well, let's see how these upgrades work for us. Yeah, that's a lot better there. Hun, let's see. Okay, you got that. And that. Okay, I want to get one more of those then. If I can get back into the shop. Thank you very much. Yeah, hold on to the wood cane for quite some time. Sell that one. Okay, and then get one more of those. Now, even though I have a second carbon shield there, I would normally sell it. I actually want to hold on to that one because there's sort of a strange property that with the way certain shields work. It's actually not so much because of the shields, but because of, like, if you're dual-wielding weapons, like Han could've equipped dual knives if I really wanted him to. But essentially, if you can dual-wield weapons, and each of them has an element to them, the game will choose which of the two elements it, the, the target is weakest to. So, let's say you had... I don't know, like a fire and a thunder elemental weapon equip. If an enemy was weak to fire, it would the game would use that element for determining your damage. Whereas if they were weak to thunder but not fire, it would choose that one to determine its damage. But this creates an interesting situation with shields because the carbon shield makes your attack fire 
elemental. So if an enemy is weak to fire, you'll actually deal more damage with a regular weapon and a carbon shield equipped than with two weapons equipped. I don't think that's so much a bug as it's an oversight. They were trying to figure out how to handle multiple elemental weaknesses at the same time. Well, you didn't do a very good job of that, did you? I was thinking about not abusing the carbon shield in that manner for making my attack fire elemental, but it's not that obscene and it's, well, slightly more optimal, so yeah, let's take advantage of it. It'll make things a little more interesting. But really, the carbon shield with that effect is pretty much the only time when that is really remotely useful. Is there anyone here? Nothing! Okay, never mind then. So yeah, other shields, there, there are some other shields that change the attack element of, well, your attack, but they're really not worthwhile. Okay, so let's save out here because we can't go do that in the dungeon. And, hmm, oh, we got our, most of our HP and TP restored. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. Someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, you got that new crosscut ability for Chaz there, but you only have one use of it. How are you going to use that more often? Well, just like with tech points, as you gain levels, you will gain more skills, or, yeah, skill charges for your skills there. And we're about to gain another level there, too, for you. But okay, let's head on back through Birth Valley. And it'll be much more straightforward this time around. If I remember how to get through here. Well, looks like I do remember how to get through here. Normally I'd cut this out, but it's so short anyway. We're already here. Well, what happened here? Oh, nuts. Yeah, we kind of had to deal with one of them. Oh. Well, we better hurry up. That's game? Come on, I was almost in the place. Whatever it's here. Yeah, kick-ass music. I like this one. Nice remix of the theme from the first game. Sadly, this is the only dungeon in the game that has this music. But it's a nice touch. I like it. Yeah, we'll be fine. See what this thing does. Ah. Did that restore like my HP and TP or no? Maybe it just cures status ailments. Or maybe it just doesn't do anything at all. I don't know. But anyway, let's keep on going. So we've had this town here for all these years, and no one noticed they were sitting above a high-tech power plant or Bio plant? Whatever this place is. Okay, let's see. We got new enemies here. These guys are not challenging. So, let's see. Let's go... Hmm. I think we could all pretty much one-shot these guys. So, let's go with that. And Han, you go with water, because well, these guys are weak, too. Oh. oh, that's weird. I thought we would have definitely had something going. Okay, well then let's just go with that. Oh, well, yeah, if you keep on missing at the guy, yeah, that'll happen. Hey, hey, all right. By the way, let's see, did Han get a level? I thought he did. Oh, not yet. Okay. Well, never mind then. Well, we got something to cure that, although not that I'll ever use it, but it's there. Okay, we got another new enemy here, and there's nothing we can do as far as exploiting elemental weaknesses, so yeah, let's just go with that, and we'll be fine. These guys do not have very much HP, although I do like how they take some of the names from enemies, like from the second game, center bits and all that stuff. 
Hmm. Yeah, we're doing good on HP. I was thinking about using the other macro, but nah, we don't need it. Okay, now we got a level and a new ability. That one reduces the agility of, I think, all enemies. But I never use it, so yeah, I wouldn't even give it a second thought. Oh well. Debuffs are not really all that useful. Well, let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Well, let's check it out. Let's see what we got here. There's another elevator or whatever this door is to the right there, but let's not go there just yet. This isn't quite a dead end. The right elevator, that would have taken you to the end of the place here. But all right, we got another new enemy, Gilganova. And you know what? I want to show Crash actually working. So let's just have everyone defend. This guy has a ton of HP at this point in the game. But he is susceptible to instant death if I can actually get the damn thing to work. It's not that inaccurate. I've just been unlucky. Come on. Okay, well now I need other people to get involved. Okay, we'll keep on going with Crash there. And I'll have everyone else... Well, do something else. Let's see. I think Alice needs some HP, so let's do that. Uh-oh. Nice. Well, so much for getting instant death to work. Oh! Weren't you just paralyzed? Maybe you got poisoned. I'd, I guess I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway. Yeah, let's do that. Can someone hit the enemies, please? Well, at least we got an antidote just in time. Yeah, okay, you were poisoned. I was just not paying attention there. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give that to Chris there. Well, okay. Crash does work. And I think it's worthwhile in some situations like that. I would not rely on it too heavily, though, because it's not reliable enough in a lot of situations, unless they have a ton of HP. Okay, let's see, we got a new crown there. Okay, nice. And let's see what is beyond here. Okay, another new enemy, Neo Whistle. Let's see, nothing really special about these guys. I can't even exploit an elemental weakness against them. So yeah, let's just go with that. These guys also do not have a whole lot of HP. But they have enough. It would also be helpful if we could hit these guys. Maybe I should actually use that vision tech that Han has to increase our accuracy. But I don't have enough charges to use it all the time like that. Well, let's, what do we got here? Ah. Nice. I'm going to go through this area anyway. I don't care if I'm not authorized. Ow. Yeah, that would be a problem. But where is Professor Holt around here anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Fantasy Star 4. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.